Hi, I'm Raj. If you haven't been to my channel, it's great to see you here. If you're building your app or your startup, there is a phase where you have to make a really important choice. And this involves picking your tech stack for your backend. And when you talk about tech stack, there is plenty of options in the TypeScript ecosystem, but we're not gonna talk about all of that. Instead, we're gonna talk about two different tech stacks that I've personally worked with in the last six months. The first one is Superbase, a Postgres-based backend as a service platform. And the next one is a tech stack that I rolled up using NextAuth, Drizzle, and Postgres. And this could also be a managed Postgres like Neon or Amazon RDS and Backblaze B2 for storage. Here you can switch to any other storage provider like S3 or Cloudflare R2. What we're going to do is we're going to take these two tech stacks and try and compare them based on some attributes and see which one performs better in that specific attribute. And in the end, I will also share my final thoughts about which one you need to pick based on what you want to achieve. The first aspect that we're going to talk about is ease of setup. By setup, I mean how easy it is to install all the dependencies, run the app, and also add an auth flow where users can log in and access sample data meant for them. Superbase comes with its own database plus auth service, so it's mostly a matter of trying to follow documentation that they have, which is kind of okay. And you only have to use a couple of Superbase clients in order to set up your whole backend. I was able to set up my whole working app in a matter of hours with Next.js and Superbase. And there is definitely a lot of resources out there to do it. With regards to setting up a tech stack using Next or the Drizzle ORM and a Postgres database, it was not that simple for me. The main complexity for me was around setting up the Drizzle with Next Auth. You have to add schema and also handle the auth yourself. And you also have to handle edge cases like linking auth accounts um, and also trying to refresh the access tokens, etc. So I would say Superbase was clearly easier for me to set up than the text tag that I rolled up. The next one that I would like to talk about is the API usability and the API customizability around auth and the database client. Superbase has a neat JavaScript client package. It's more like all-in-one package. And there is definitely a learning curve if you're using Superbase for the first time. But as you build more, you learn where to look and also the APIs are pretty easy to use. On the other hand, in our ORM and an next auth tech stack, the APIs are fragmented across different libraries. The learning curve for an ORM is not that big if you've already worked with it. And for the next auth, there is some curve, but it all depends on what you're trying to build. That being said, if you have a custom use case, then I think the next auth ORM stack would be better because the Superbase APIs are built for a lot sort of generic use cases. What do I mean by a custom use case? Imagine you want to build an app like Cal.com where users need to manage their third-party auth integrations. This will be easier for you to implement using Next Auth and Drizzle because it requires deeper level of control than what Superbase client libraries offer. So what's the verdict? I would say it's a tie. In the usability department, Superbase wins. And for customizability, I would prefer my own back. When you start using Superbase for your both authentication and also database operations, you will find yourself becoming heavily reliant on it. And this reliance can lead to a situation where your app layer becomes closely intertwined with the database and authentication layer. Since you use one client for all your needs, the lines between all these layers become a bit blurry. On the other hand, if you create your own backend, you have the freedom to design all the APIs you need, and you can keep your authentication logic separate from your database logic. You offer a clear separation of concerns. And if you use an ORM like Drizzle, you also have the flexibility to switch to another underlying database if needed. For example, I often use Superbase as a managed database service rather than a complete backend as a service. So what this does is this allows me to leverage the benefits of a managed database while maintaining a loose coupling between my app and my database layer. So in terms of separation of concerns, I would say a custom backend takes the point. When it comes to cloud storage, there are three factors need to be taken into account. So the first one, it's going to be the upload costs, also known as ingress costs. 
And then the next one is going to be the download costs, also known as the egress costs. And then there is a cost for storage per month. Most cloud companies offer free ingress, but charge for egress. So that means there is a cost for downloads. Storage is part of a super base suite of services. So you can simply access it with your JavaScript client. Um, for free tier, there is usually a small amount of storage available. And for paid tiers, you get a lot of storage, but not in terms of uh, TBs. It doesn't really explicitly charge for downloads on storage, but it's included as part of your total bandwidth. And there is definitely a factor of simplicity here, but you have to keep in mind that Superbase could get expensive for storage intensive apps. If you're building a storage intensive app, I would highly recommend using a storage service like Amazon S3 or Backblaze B2. And these services can be integrated with your custom backend and would likely be much cheaper than Superbase. So when it comes to storage, uh, the custom backend takes the point. Since Superbase is a backend as a service, it also comes with extra features like real-time database access, edge functions, and vector database, etc. And if you would implement all these things on your own, you would most likely reach out to different services for each of these use cases. Depending on what you're building, it might be either more expensive or less expensive than using Superbase. But there is definitely some complexity around integration. So I would say Superbase has a slight advantage here as it offers all of this in one package. What are my final thoughts? If you clearly know what you're building and care mostly about how fast you're building things, uh, then Superbase would definitely help you move faster. If you don't care about speed that much, but you want to learn concepts a bit more deeply and also have greater control in your app, then I would say roll your own backend. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe for more and I will talk to you soon.